All right, greetings. This is Adam L. Humphreys, and right now I'm going to discuss the humidity and temperature controller I have been working on for my dad's greenhouse, the greenhouse controller. Uh, right now, I'm using a DHT21 with an Atmega328. Originally, I was going to use the Attiny84, uh, but then I decided if I wanted to expand, then I couldn't because I had 18 bytes left out of programming space. 18 bytes left out of 8 kilobytes, so <laughs> that was kind of funny. So I'm using the Atmega328, the DHG21, and I had to modify the library because the signal, the signal is, should be low or it should be high all the time, it pulled up by a resistor. But apparently, the uh, sensor here will pull a low every once in a while. So in the library, I just wrote while low, do nothing because the signal must be high before you can request a signal. So that was a simple fix. So right now we press any button and we get the screen to turn on. Right now we have the main screen, humidity and temperature. We press the up button, we get the history for the current day. And then we get the history for the previous day and two days ago and so on. And of course all the way back here to 126. Now I can do it for more days now since I have more memory, more EEPROM. But if I wanted to display additional information, I could configure this to where the, the right button will toggle the screen for additional information, but I don't have any additional information right now. So if I press the left or the right button, it will simply exit to the main screen. If I continue the left and right from the main screen, I get into the menu. You can set the humidity low, high, and tolerance and temperature low, high, and tolerance. And if I expand this to include a clock, then when you press the left or right, you will get like humidity, temperature, or clock. You press the down button, you go further deep into it, so you can set the clock or set the humidity low, high, and tolerance. But I'm, I haven't gone that far. I really need to get this in a box before I go further. It can, can, you can set up timers and whatnot to control water faucets or something if we get that far. Right now it just logs and controls. It controls a fan, a humidifier, and a heater. So that's all it controls right now. Now the actual clock for this thing, I'm using the At Tiny 85 and the 60 cycles from the wall. Again, like I did with my, with my wall clock up here, if some of you may remember. Still working, still very, very accurate. Uh, 100 parts per million, and uh, here in Texas, if it's off by three seconds, they will correct it. And that takes about a week or so, I think. 100 parts per million or so. Um, so I just have a Tiny 85 with the diode, 10K resistor, 5K resistor, and then of course the bypass capacitor. So that's four components plus the Tiny 85 for a very accurate clock. Of course, it won't work when the power is down though, but it's really not that critical for us. So that is a nice solution. This is pretty much the power supply for everything. And just the At Tiny 85 is the clock. So that's my progress so far. Uh, not really a whole lot else to discuss with that. It's, uh, it needs to be brought to the actual box and from, go from concept to reality. But hopefully everything will work out. So if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask and I can try to answer them. Uh, thank you very much for watching.